We are on track for our rollout tomorrow morning. Uh, first motion is planned for 7 a.m. And many of our teams will be coming back in uh, on third shift to make those final preparations uh, and, and get ready uh, to roll, like I said, at first motion. Uh, 7 a.m. Takes us a little while to get out of the building, um, but about an hour after we get that first motion, you'll begin to see this beautiful vehicle cross over the threshold of the VAB and come outside for the world to have a look. We'll uh, retract the crew access arm. That'll take a little bit of time, about 45 minutes or so. And, uh, and then we'll pick up and we'll head out on our four mile journey to Launch Complex 39B. We'll be at a cruising speed of just under one mile per hour. <laughs> uh, it'll be a little slower around the turns and up the hill, and uh, that journey will take us about eight to ten hours to get there. Once we get out to the pad, we'll begin and get hard down. Uh, we'll begin our, uh, our connects to the facility. Launch day will be pretty similar to wet dress. There'll be two big differences. One is that we're going to send the crew to the pad, and the other one is we're not going to stop at 29 seconds for a planned stop. Um, so uh, that's a little bit about our road to wet dress, what's entailed in wet dress. Again, launch will, uh, launch will come along after that. Um, we talked about, I think, at our prior briefing, a little bit about our countdown, leveraged off the Artemis One countdown. I do have a couple of changes in our holds in the countdown. We have three planned uh, for Artemis uh, Two. Um, and. Uh, you know, just like we do on launch day, right? Part of launch, we'll get into our terminal count. Uh, we'll count down. As I said, don't plan to stop at 29 seconds. Plan to go all the way to T0. We'll get down to core stage engine start inside of six seconds, six 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 ish seconds, uh, booster ignition and lift off. And uh, at that point in time, I'll hand off to the uh, ascent flight director, just like I'm going to do today when I hand off to my <laughs> colleague here as part of the briefing, Mr. Uh, Jeff Radigan. Thanks, Charlie. It's a great day to be here talking to you all. Uh, you know, over Mission Control, of course, we're doing our final simulations, getting ready. The crew has uh, undergone all of uh, their final training and uh, is wrapping things up. Uh, you can see in the video here that, uh, as Charlie mentioned, uh, we get lift off, and then the core stage uh, is, and boosters are going to take us to orbit. And uh, it's, it's going to be a, a monumental day. We're, we're really looking forward to it.